Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and this is... This is Dylan. Dylan Garten, and he is the unseen talent behind Skill Builder. He's a man who twiddles the knobs. He does the, the camera work, he does the editing, he does all sorts of stuff. Without him, we'd be nothing. <laughs> uh, anyway, we've recamped, we've, uh, we've decided to come to his place and, and work in his studio from now on because doing the Ask Skill Builder, because it just gives us a, a better flow of work. It's a nice, comfortable environment. Here it is, well, that's right. It? And I noticed with the old format, you were seen to get him sort of sleepier and more comfortable. Well, that's it. And so you're here yeah. to stop me nodding off. You see that pair of scissors there? Right, that could be your prod. So if, you, if you feel me going, if you feel me going a bit sleepy, quickly yeah. jab. I think, well, I think I'd prefer to have like a little taser or something set it okay. to, you know, set it to stun. Anyway, let's get on with Ask Skill Builder. We got the first question. Yeah, the first question is from. Yeah, it is Willem. from Willem, and yeah. um, well, I haven't seen this yet. And yeah, you, said just, to, oh, you didn't want me to see it. Just until watch this. This now. is great. He sent us a lovely video. Thanks, Willem. Okay, let's do it. This is one of the bedrooms where there's a little bit of a moisture on the walls. And here, this whole wall, the corners of the walls. Also on this side, the corner, but especially around here, very, very, very dark black, nasty shit hanging around, eating, eating already the parquet as well. <laughs> Nasty shit. It's a little bit better. Also here in the wall, it's seems to it's have a bit of moisture around. So this, is this is Italy. Watch this. Look at that. It's about condensation. And if you look at the outside, La Bella Vista. But here we don't see immediately very much. Some light cracks in the wall here. But on the outside of the house, Seems so reasonable. This is the, the roof. Seems to be relatively cheap. Robin Clever would love oh, us. Yeah, He'd yeah. love us gutters. Yeah. He'd be salivating over yeah. us gutters. <laughs> this one, there's also a uh, fluid problem or, or humidity problem where we have a look at. And then we enter again the room. We see that in the other room, indeed, there's a wall. The wall has a bit of humidity. Yeah, how can you live like that? Well, that's Bell. Like that's why he's moving there. That's why he's moving there. He's moved there He's moving bells. from Belgium to Italy. Humidity. Bought this place because he loves those bells. He must have wake up with those bells every morning. Yes. Also. He may probably feel them. <laughs> Is it inside a bell there? Jewish bells ringing, more humidity. He hasn't asked Skillbird or anything yet, has he? Where's the, what's the question? This is, it's, all, it's about them, but you might be forgiven for thinking this, this problem is the bells. It's like, it's a, it's like bells. a nightmare. It's just a mouldy, noisy bell nightmare. Yeah, but look at the view, the Bella Vista, as he says. I wish he'd show us a bit more of that view. Yeah. I'm dying to see the rest of it, Lake Como or Garda or wherever it is. Mm, Beautiful. And then here there's also some humidity, but I think this is because on the other side is the bathroom where the plumbing of the toilet is, so I expect some, uh, some issue in the bathroom, and this is the bathroom. For sure. Ah, that's where you go to sleep, that's nice there's and quiet. There's a little leak. There's the toilet. Behind the toilet. This seems all okay, but I think behind this wall is where there is a lot of humidity. Then here on the grooves there is also some humidity or black uh, fungus because there used to be in this area a bath but I don't know where they put the the sink of the bath doesn't it? here this box is because of the the staircase the staircase which is coming from below here. So anyway, what's his problem? Willem's problem? It's not those bells. <laughs> <laughs> it's the damp. 
And that damp, if you look at the windows there, he's got no uh, trickle vent on those windows. He's just got aluminium frame windows sealing that place up. And I reckon it's probably been empty for a while. And there's no way of ventilating it. Sure, you know, in the winter, which let's face it, you know, lovely Italy in the summer is beautiful, but that would be cold in the winter. Be a very cold place and uh, possibly no cavity wall. And what he's got there, he's just got condensation. You can see by the pattern of it where it's appearing that it is condensation that he's dealing with, not penetrating damp. The, the overhang, if you scrub forward to that bit where he was outside, look at the overhang on that roof. It's absolutely perfect, isn't it? Yeah. That's keeping all that wall dry, and that, that's, that's how you should do overhangs, right. I believe. Because no stained just, monocouche with that. Oh, man, it just keeps all that building beautifully dry and uh, stain free as you can see um, so I think all his damp is coming from the inside out I don't think it's anything else than that now he's got a choice a dehumidifier or an extractor fan and luckily he could probably get a good extractor fan just by the balcony because obviously it's quite high up that so you would have to have scaffolding if you put an extractor fan through the wall other than where the balconies are the other one I'm wondering about is the um, it's the roof whether there's a chance of him getting a, a extractive fan vent in there somewhere but well if you're going to get a dehumidifier get one that has a drain on it that drains away itself because otherwise if you leave that property if you go back to belgium for a month or so uh, and you leave the property empty you really want that dehumidifier to be working away while you're not there very very cheap to run in actual fact they put a little bit of heat back into the the building as well so um, not a bad thing to have really and if you just leave that plugged in and running you'll clear most of that moisture out of there. As far as getting rid of that ugly black mold there goes if you use bleach what you find with bleach is once it dries it becomes like blotting paper it becomes like a sponge and it will attract moisture from the air back into the the dried out bleach if you like. Bleach is a bad thing but if you use a fungicide wash do the whole thing with fungicide or wash, get rid of all that mold first of all, then when you paint it, use an anti-fungicide in the paint. But don't expect that to do miracles because it, you must get rid of the moisture. That's, that's the key to all condensation problems is getting rid of the moisture. Mm. Ugly black mold on those tiles, you can Ugly see Ugly black mold is a recurring theme. So you don't like the bells then? I think the bells are, well, it's probably a little bit like, um, there's a lovely line in the Blues Brothers where the trains are going right past the window. So how often do they come past? It's so often you won't even notice. <laughs> I think that's the case with this place here. I actually think, and funnily enough, they are beautiful bells, aren't they? You know, they, they yeah. tonally, they, they, they've they got really lovely yeah. pitch on them, you know. You probably wouldn't be thinking that though when you're uh, trying to do your meditation in the morning and they just go off. There are worse sounds. Funnily enough, yeah. the traffic noise isn't great, is it? But The other thing I would say is, to everybody, when you send us the videos, try and shoot oh, them yeah. this way, Landscape, not that way. Because when you do it that way, that means I have to add some bits to the side and make them blurred. And I'm just basically saying, don't make work for me. I don't want, I want to be editing other stuff. Look, I've got loads of post-it notes here, loads of edits that need to be done. Oh, really? So if I can, uh, so look at that one, for example. What is that? Well, that's one of your porno. <laughs> That's one that, of your well, porn, it could be. It's porn movies, isn't Scotland it? Scotland knee pads. Yeah, yeah we don't want to know about Scotland knee pads. We yeah. <laughs> You'll find out later. <laughs> Look, I'm going to say, just by the way, while we're here, um, I must apologise for the backlog on Ask Skill Builder. We kind of, it's, it's one of those things where we've taken the, the lid off uh, a nest of vipers, if you like. We are on it. We are getting to the, the cracks of it. So yeah. let's get on. Adrian Ling, what's what's up with Adrian Ling? Well, I can tell you actually because he sent initially he sent this photograph in and another one, and this is all to do with the leaking shower, yeah. And he said, right, that's what's happening behind the wall, on I think maybe on the other side of the wall, but anyway, whatever it is, he's got this damp patch, and he's had somebody back to try and solve the problem. The people who put the shower in for him, I think, the builders or whatever and uh, he said it still hasn't solved it and they're going to come back and they try it again and so on. Now, I have seen this countless times, Adrian, loads and loads of times, and that's why I said to him, 
send me some more pictures. Don't just send me the pictures of the damp, I want to see the whole installation. So he very helpfully sent these other pictures back mm. and it confirmed what I suspected, but I always like to see all the evidence. And so what he's done across here is he's, or not him, sorry, it won't be him, but the, the builders who are there. They've siliconed all along the inside of the shower screen. And they're thinking, okay, there's a leak coming out there somewhere. So we've siliconed on the outside and now we're gonna silicon on the inside. You can see it's not the prettiest looking silicon that you've ever seen. Yeah. But you know, it was all about stopping the leak and it didn't stop the leak. What it is, right, first thing, if you put a shower screen, a profile up on a wall like that, you must run the tiles behind it. You must put it up. Now, I know why people don't, because when you look at the edge of the profile, you see the edge of the tile. Mm -hmm. So you have to put a little bit of tile trim on that first, on, on the end where the, the tile's finished. And then you put your profile onto the wall when you fix up your screws and your silicon going down. And you've also sealed all the way along the bottom here between the tray and the tiles. Now that has to go along behind this profile, this, yeah. this bit here, because if you don't do that, what happens is that little bit of water gets inside the profile and it leaks down. And of course it's got nothing to hold it there. It's gonna go down behind the tray and that's why it's getting that bit of moisture there. And as I say, I've seen it so many times and you go along and you do it and people, oh my goodness, we lived with that for years, you know, that little drip and they could never figure it out. Now the worst thing you can do is start to wadge in loads more silicone into there and start trying to seal everything up because all you end up doing then is trapping water inside this hollow section and the water builds up and it builds up until it's got such a head on it that the pressure is so great mm. that it will push its way out and it will leak. So the golden rule is if you look at the shower installation instructions on, on the shower screen, you will see that it says silicon on the outside only. And the reason for that is that any water that gets trapped inside those hollow sections can then leak out into the tray and safely away. I got in touch with Adrian and I said, when those builders come back, they've got to take that profile off the wall, just cut all the silicon away, continue the tiling along the back of it or something else. If they haven't got any of those tiles left, they can do it with any other because it's gonna be covered by the profile, it doesn't matter. They could even do it with some No More Leaks tape all the way down the wall, stuck onto the edge of the tile, and then across the bottom of the tray. But whatever they do, that any water that gets behind that profile must leak down into the tray. And the other thing is to get rid of all that silicone that's under there so that there's a bit of free passage. Now what I sometimes do is I get a one millimeter spacer and when I put the, the profile on, I put the spacer underneath, fix the profile, take the spacer away, then it, you've got a one millimeter gap under that profile. Then you can silicon up the outside and then any water will then leak through that yeah. one millimeter gap into the tray and away and you won't have any trouble at all with it. But it's just the question of making sure it can escape. And as I say, it says it on every single instruction that I've ever seen and most people ignore it. Yeah. You know, there's one of those things they've been doing for years and they think, I don't need to read the instructions. Yeah, yeah just everyone knows how to do yeah. that job. You know, they think. Loads and loads of silicon. Easy as that, Adrian. I hope those builders have come along, solved that problem for you, and that, uh, that damp will start to dry out. I don't think it's worth you stripping those skirtings off or anything. Just let the thing dry out naturally, then rub it down a little bit, give it a paint, and it should be fine. It must be awkward though, if you're the installer and then you've got your customer coming to you to tell you what the problem is. <laughs> Do you know what? They're not going to like me, are they? No. You know, he's going to say, oh, I spoke to this <laughs> bloke on YouTube and they're going to go, oh, yeah, go, uh, what do they know? <laughs> yeah. And, um, and, and it's, yeah, but if they take it, if they embrace it, I mean, the other thing he can do is he can find the instructions off the website or something, if yeah. he hasn't got them still, if he can identify what the what the, the make of the shower screen is, download the instructions off the internet and go read that. Yeah, and you can uh, read it. So the good news is he hasn't got to rip his bathroom out. It's, uh, no, no, it's an hour or two's work, yeah. but unnecessary work. Yeah. You know, those guys could have been doing anything else with their Saturday morning, but now they're going back 
over a job, they're not going to get any more money out of it, and uh, and they're, they're not going to be able to enjoy their game of golf or whatever else they do on a Saturday morning. So, so yeah, I mean, read the instructions. What can I say? Read the instructions. Okay, we've got a question here from Charles Mitchell, and he's asking, do fire bricks contain asbestos? No. Is that it? That's all you're going to give us? Well, it's, it's, a, it's the answer. Yeah. No. I know what they are. They're fire bricks from a storage radiator. I've taken loads and loads of those out, cut them up, used them for other things, used them for building barbecues, actually. Brilliant for making a pizza oven, if you want to do that. Is that a better, longer answer? That is a better one. And I've got another question is, does anything contain asbestos now? Not new things. No, no, I mean, it's, it's something we don't use anymore. Um, but if you go back to things pre-1971 or what, I can't remember the date exactly, but yeah. So the big problem is you don't know, do you? You know, when you're looking at things like Artex and different boards and so on, could have some asbestos so you've got to assume and uh, that's why it's a good question to ask you'd think maybe they did wouldn't you but no mm. they've got, they've got mica in them and all sorts of clay so yeah i mean it's always it's always good to ask and it's always good to be careful and if in doubt assume it has asbestos and wear a mask but what kind of a mask though because that's that's really the question isn't it because if you had said yes they do contain asbestos then the next question would be what level of protection do I need to make sure it's not Well, you don't cut them, you don't sand them down, and you just basically get rid of them. So, you know, it's one of those things. I mean, I, I've got a little, it's not a rent. This is a mini rent. <laughs> it should be a rent. People you get, love the you, rents. You get, all this, <laughs> you get all this crushed concrete, crushed brickwork now. You can buy it now because basically when they demolish a building, it all goes into a big crusher and they resell that. As, as a foundation material, type one type material that you put on your driveway before you're putting down bricks. So, nobody knows what goes into those crushers. You could have asbestos sheets going in there, you could have loads of stuff going in there. So when you get that crushed material from, from your builder's merchants, a bag of, a bulk bag of, of crushed brick and concrete, in among that could be asbestos. Mm. So even then, you've got to think, well, what are you doing with it? So what I do, if I think there's asbestos around, damp it down, that's the first thing. Get plenty of water onto it, keep it wet, and then the fibers won't fly. Okay, we've got a problem here that I'm pretty sure Roger won't have come across before. David Jones. What is it? He's got a nasty leak under his sink. Do you want to have a look? Well, plumbing is the unlikely. I've not seen it before, but go on. What do you think of that? <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> David Jones. Do you think he's Welsh by any chance? Yeah, I think so. And that you does can... look like a nasty leak, doesn't it? It's not happy. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Well, Thanks, David. Thanks for cheering us up there. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. Um, obviously, you could only a Welsh plumber could um, deal with that. When you send your bill, make sure it's a daffer bill. <laughs> Boyle. We'd like to see some more of these, wouldn't we, I think? Boyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've got any more of those sort of things, we love it. Yeah. Any more vegetable Vegetable-related plumbing <laughs> problems. 